Okay, so we're diving into deep fix this time. Mm -hmm. You sent over a ton of research on how this stuff is like clashing with the law, yeah. AI evidence, courtrooms, even elections. It's crazy how fast deep fix went from, you know, a tech thing to a huge problem, like for figuring out what's real. Right. Especially in court. Especially in court, yeah. Yeah. It's like someone's messing with the evidence, but nobody knows who. Mm. And speaking of messes, remember that Pennsylvania cheerleader case? Oh, yeah. Everyone thought her mom was using deep fakes to, like, sabotage the competition. <laughs> the Raffaella Spone case? Yeah. Total example of how fast we jumped at deep fakes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Anything scandalous. Totally. And it was awful for her, even though later on that video was real. It was real. It was real. Just the suspicion is enough to really mess things up. Yeah. But legal experts are saying that's just the beginning. Oh, yeah. Like, a tidal wave of AI evidence is coming. Yeah. And I'm not sure the courts are ready. <laughs> it's a huge, it's a huge challenge. You've got scholars wanting to, like, completely redo how we verify evidence. Wow. Some even say we should, like, flip who has to prove what with deepfake. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Shifting the burden of proof? Yeah. What does that even mean? What would that do? So... Imagine there's a video, right? Okay. A politician taking a bribe mm -hmm. before the accuser, they had to prove it was fake. Yeah. But deep fakes are so good now. Right. Some experts, they're saying the politician should have to prove it's real. Whoa. That changes everything. It does. Like flipping the whole game. Right. But wouldn't that be almost impossible to prove? Exactly. If even the experts can't always tell. And that's where it gets tricky, right? Yeah. Because some people want this change, but others worry it makes it harder to use real evidence. Especially with limited resources and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's like stuck between a rock and a hard place. Not totally. You try to fix one thing, another yeah. thing breaks. That's a total balancing act, yeah. Legal and ethical, too. Huge ethical questions. And no easy answers. Not at all. No. Okay, so we've got this system built on, what, centuries of doing things one way? Hundreds of years, yeah. And suddenly we can make fakes that are almost perfect. It's wild. But before we get too deep into that. Sure. You said anyone with a smartphone can make this stuff. Yeah. How easy is it, really? It's surprisingly easy, which is, you know, both cool and scary. Yeah. There's two big players here, Jans and Diffusion Models. Okay, break that down. So Jans, Generative Adversarial Networks. Okay. Like two algorithms fighting. Okay. One makes the fake, the other tries to catch it. Cat and mouse, but digital. Exactly. And the fakes keep getting better. Exactly. And then you've got diffusion models. Right. Like those AI image things everyone's using. Yeah, those are everywhere now. But these can mess with videos, even make new ones from scratch. It's kind of amazing, but also terrifying. For sure. Like... Seeing isn't believing anymore. Right. And you mentioned this liar's dividend. Yeah. Even if the deep fake is debunked, the doubt is there. Exactly. It makes you question everything. It's like this virus, right? Uh-huh. Infecting how we trust what we see and hear. Yeah. And that's a problem way beyond the courtroom, you know? Totally. It's like, we're always suspicious. Yeah. Wondering if something's been, you know, digitally messed with. Totally. And then there's elections. Oh, man. Talk about high stakes. Yeah, that's where it gets really scary. Your research had some, like, hypothetical scenarios about this. Yeah. Especially that 2028 one. That was intense. That one's a doozy. Like deep fakes as political weapons. Exactly. Not just, like, rumors anymore. Right. But, like, convincing videos everywhere. On the news, social media, the works. And most people, they wouldn't even think twice. Right. Like that example, the candidate taking bribes. Yeah, or the one where they're saying awful things. Total payoffs. And even some are debunked. It doesn't even matter at that point, right? It plants that seed, you know? Totally. Hard to unring that bell. Exactly. People doubt everything then. Candidates, the process, everything. And that's terrifying, honestly. That's a huge problem. What's stopping people from just giving up? Right. Or worse. It's like a ticking time bomb. Exactly. So what do we do? Yeah, we can't just like unplug from the internet. Yeah, it's not what's the plan? How do we stop this train wreck? Well, it's a tough one, right? No easy answers. Right. But we can do things individually and as a society. Okay, so what, like new laws? Some experts, they want a more proactive approach, yeah. Instead of just reacting after the fact? Exactly. Okay, so like what? Judges, 
they got to get ahead of this. Okay. Maybe even special hearings just for deep fakes. Yeah. More time to investigate, you know. Yeah. And they got to learn about this tech themselves. Like it's a whole new set of rules. Exactly. It's a new playing field. Wow. And then the tech companies. Right. They built this stuff. They got to step up. Morally, at least. What, like put limits on it or something? Think about the consequences for yeah. sure. Right. Maybe build in safeguards. Like what? Digital watermarks. I've heard of that. That's one idea. Would that even work? Could be helpful, but not foolproof. Right. Someone will just hack it. Exactly. Wow. It's a constant back and forth. So we're back to cat and mouse. Pretty much. But we can't just play defense forever. We can't. What else is there? Education is huge. Like teach people about deep fix. Yeah. Give them the tools to spot them. Okay. To think critically about what they see online. Be smarter about what we share, all that. Exactly. Don't be fooled twice. Right. We've got to wise up. Yeah, seeing isn't believing anymore, that's for sure. Absolutely. We need like a deep fake survival guide or something. Right. For this whole real or fake world we live in now. I like that, a survival guide. Yeah. And the good news is... Okay. We're not totally helpless. Okay, that's good. We can learn about this stuff and be, you know... A little skeptical. So practically speaking, yeah. what do I do? I see a video. My gut says sketchy. Right. How do I even start figuring out if it's real or not? Honestly, trust that gut feeling. Easy to say. If something feels wrong, it probably is. Yeah. Don't let the shock value, you know. Right. Or how intense it is cloud your judgment. But some of these are so good. Even the experts are fooled. True. And that's why you got to look beyond just the video itself. Okay. Check the source. You know. Like, where'd it come from? Exactly. Okay. Is it a real news site or some rando account? So become an internet detective. Pretty much. Look for stuff that doesn't add up. Oh, okay. Do a quick search. See if other, like, legit sources are talking about it, too. Right. And remember, just because everyone's sharing it doesn't make it true. Right. Going viral doesn't equal true. Exactly. So fact check, source check, yep. anything else. Should I, like, take a class on this? Well, I mean... Knowledge is power, but really, one of the best things we can do is talk about it. Like, with each other? Yeah. If you're skeptical, say something. Okay. Encourage people to think critically, you know? Like that see something, say something, but online. Exactly. We can't just wait for someone else to fix this. We're all responsible. We all have a part to play. This has been wild, honestly. Right. Eye-opening, but kind of scary, too. That's a lot to take in. But we can't ignore it, that's for sure. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. So for everyone listening who's probably just as uh, intrigued and freaked out as we are. Probably. What's yeah. the big takeaway here? Be aware, be skeptical, be curious, and be engaged. I like that. Don't let this stuff get you down. Yeah. Use it to be smarter, you know. Right. About the information you're taking in. Well said. We've got this. You've given us so much to think about, seriously. It's a big topic. To everyone listening, thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Yeah, thanks for listening. Into this crazy world of deep fakes and the law. It's a wild world out there. Remember, seeing isn't believing anymore. Nope. Critical thinking, that's our superpower now. Yep. Until next um, time. See you later.